transport. When did you buy Gane your e-scooter? When was that? Interestingly, not very long. Uh, I think I started fourth quarter of last year pa. Hmm. I'm still very, very new to this whole alternative transport. And to be honest, I was so skeptical. I was one of those things. It was my elder brother who got me into it, who got me interested in it because uh, he wanted to do it. And I and the whole family was laughing at him. It's like, we, we're a family that has cars. So we're like, we have cars. Why do you need to buy something? And why in, to, to my dad, it was actually, why do you need to waste your money over a toy when we have cars? And it was late last year, na my, uh, no, August last year, that my brother was getting into it. And he said, wow, the experience is great. And then, you know, from us, when we're outside and we're riding our cars and then we're looking at him riding the scooter, we felt like it was funny. We were like, <laughs> look at him exposed to the environment, riding on a two wheels, getting from one place to another, and us were riding cars. And then one day, um, I decided, you know what, I think I need one because the traffic was so bad in Cebu. And, you know, this is pre-pandemic. You remember how bad it was. People are already saying, you know, Cebu is becoming like Manila. Um, it takes us one hour to get from one place to another. And so I got an e-scooter and I really got to test it out. You know, because I do a lot of errands on the side. And a lot of the things that I do are within three kilometer radius. And you know what takes up so much time? Going through the traffic and finding parking. So I got an e-scooter, which I started riding it in November, December, especially December. It was great on December because the traffic was so bad. And I was just zooming through, walking through the sidewalks with my scooter and it was so much faster than getting on the car. And then fast forward today, I now have an e-bike. I decided to shift from e-scooter to e-bike because I wanted the cycling experience. I didn't want to just stand on ri and ride. I wanted to do something that, you know, makes me useful. <laughs> so mm, e-bike so was that exerting, option. You're exerting some effort, is that it? Yeah, and then it's a different experience. You know, If you, I probably will make a vlog about e-scooter versus e-bike, but I would say that if you... If you have been riding an e-scooter all your life and then you shift to e-bike, e I actually like the e-bike experience more than the e-scooter experience. Can, I, can you talk about that? Like, So, as you know, like I commute man via bicycle all over mm -hmm. Cebu pretty much. And I was always curious about the e-scooter because, you know, the, 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 the design of it is it naturally has smaller wheels. Yeah, and I've always wondered about Kanang because we don't have the best roads or roads, sidewalks. Yeah. Period. Like, like, de ba? Oh, yeah. So there's a. I would assume that there's a like, if you're using an e-scooter in Cebu, you go from one point A to point B. Somewhere there, there's like a walking section. Mm -hmm. Is there? Is it? Is it? Is that typical? Right? Wait, what the, do you mean, the like wheels, the walking section? Because the wheels are just too small for certain sections. Well, if you go inside, let's say, ka ng mga barangays where the roads are so bad. And like when I say bad, I mean like they're like dirt roads na. And your scooter does not have a good um, suspension system. Then you have to just walk it out. But I would say 90% of the roads that I go through when I had an e-scooter, I could really run through it. About 10% siguro, those really bad ones, I get off my scooter and just walk beside my scooter. Ah, so it's not bad at all, eh? Good. Okay, or good. Like anang having the scooter. No, 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 not at all, not at all. The the challenge with the e scooter, the one that I was riding, is a small one. It's a we call them last milers. They're designed to help commuters finish the last mile. But um, they're smaller scooters, so they're not designed to let's say go up to Busay. They're not designed to um, chat, go to mga steep hills, no. They're just designed to get you around the city. And me, I'm from Busai, and you know, it just wasn't a viable transport option to commute from work to home. So it was just something that I used to get around. But now that I shifted an e-bike, it's more powerful and it gets me to the mountains. But here's the thing as well. There, uh, there are e-scooters that are capable of um, more powerful transport. Uh, they're the larger ones. They, they cost more, but they 
they take away the one thing that I love a lot about e-scooters, which is portability. Uh, that's uh, something that yeah. bikes cannot have as well. You know, you can't eat, no matter how foldable your bike is, it will never be as portable as a last miler scooter. Yeah, because I was going to ask you, I remember like cycling up, uh, you know, the mountains and then, you know, there are like, there are people who will use their e-scooter to go all the way up. I know particularly like up Manipis, I remember seeing a bunch ah, yeah. of a little group of us, e-scooters going up and then like, let I me, mean, they're obviously going quite fast also. I remember you posting before by that you tried actually bringing your e-scooter up Busai. <laughs> you remember that? Wow. So yeah, I did. The, I, I brought my last miler e-scooter to Busai. And let's just say during the steep portions, uh, about 70% of it was me just using my leg power to get up the just steep portion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was really like kick scooting. Na. <laughs> I, I was so tired after that. I was so burnt out and dehydrated. And I said I, I was never going to do that again. <laughs> So you got an e-bike. Now you I got an e-bike. Been, you've been using the e-bike for like a month. Two weeks palang. Two weeks palang. Yeah. Can you tell me can you tell me more about the e-bike? Like what model? What what Okay, uh, um I'm using a I don't know if I'm saying this right on pronunciation now because I read it as same bike because it has the word same as A M E and bike. Mm -hmm. But some people are saying it's actually Sam E bike. So whatever it is, I'm just going to say same bike. <laughs> I have okay. the same bike, fat bike, and it's it was only released in the Philippines for the first time last month. Ah, okay. So it's a very new model, and it's basically a correction of everything that was um, kulang and th that was lacking in the previous models. Like um, the fat tires were necessary to cover as much kind of terrain as possible. And I love the fat tires because you know how bad the roads are in Cebu, na? Yeah. And any pothole, even those mga like elevations a gutter and then you're afraid to get on top of it, I can get on top of it, no problem. So it's really helpful on fat tires. The second thing is the motor is more powerful than your standard e-bikes. It's 500 watt motor and it's help, it helps me get to Bukid without any problem at all. The steep hills, uh, although on paper it says 35 degree angle, it can cover a steep hill at 35 degrees. But what I tested was more than 35 degrees. 35 degree incline? Where did you, yeah. where did you find a 35 degree incline? Here, not at home, Busai. I really... Getting to the sub subdivision, there's this really steep, na more than 35 degree incline. It's not on the main road. No, no. It's, it's in the sub well, main it's road's a subdivision. Uh -huh. Like even ah, cars okay. would feel the umut when it's going up. Yeah, here in Cebu, Bay, what I realized very quickly is that there's very many steep inclines, no? Like very many. If you go up to like uh, like at the Chateau de Busayas, but that's not thirty five percent. That's probably like closer to twenty. Thirty five percent is really, really, really steep. But not not thirty five percent, thirty five degree. Yeah, yeah, thirty five. Oh, is there a difference? I, I'm not sure. Is there? I'm not because sure. Because it's Usually like nine. Of course, ninety is like you know ninety degrees. As you're you're already vertical, no? Maybe wait. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Maybe it is degree, not percent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so like kind of 20, 20 degrees there going going up to Chateau. Thirty five is a uh, is is really steep. No, so it, it is. So it's very steep. But yeah, yeah I, I went like, to Chateau Ganina a kahapon actually. Ah yeah, well, I'll, I'll get to that. So. Well, how fast can it go? Um, on paper, it says 35 kph. But the fastest that I've gone on it, because I also did pedal assist, about 38 kph. On the flats? Yes. Yeah, because if you're going downhill, you can go it's, fast. It can go much really. faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm scared. I'm, you know, I'm very scared yeah. going downhill. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you're like a new cyclist, then, you know, you should be scared. It's uh, the faster you go, the and then, like, if you crash at five kilometers per hour, no big deal. You crash no. at ten, no big deal. But the the faster you go, and if you crash, then the more like the greater you are the damage. Go. Yeah, by a lot, <laughs> no. But you can, because actually, you know, I brought that fear with me from e scooting. Mm. So when I did scooter, I I had my first semplang, 
uh, it was so embarrassing because I was riding at 5 kph, very slow, and I still tripped over a crack. And then I said, and you know, the most painful part was not the crash. It was more of the shame of people looking at me. <laughs> Everyone looking you? at me like, I was in, um, there, you know that intersection uh, on Red Planet? No, where? The hotel. Where? Uh, you know the intersection? Ah, near Ayala, yeah, near Ayala. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, near Ayala. Yeah. I fell in that intersection. It was so embarrassing because everyone was looking at me. And, you know, e-scooters were still new. And I didn't want to create that kind of image na murag, ah, kung mag e-scooter, kay accident. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> but yeah, but that was my only accident ever. After that, wala na. But because of that, I also had some fear when it comes to speed. So when I was cycling for the first time, going down from Busay down to the city for work, I, I really slow down. I go down to mga 15 to 10 kph na going down, making sure na I can still make a full stop when I need to. Mm -hmm. 